Refer to the operator's manual for proper setup, safety procedures, and operation instructions. Follow your company's policy on proper grounding. Perform all pre-operation inspections and startup procedures. Start the engine, first turn the key on, wait for the system to initiate. Once the system has initiated and all error messages have cleared, then turn the key to start the engine. For safe operations, it is recommended that the hydraulic fluid be allowed to warm up to a working temperature prior to use. The PLW is equipped with a hydraulic warming circuit that should be utilized to warm up the hydraulic fluid. This circuit is actuated by a detent lever located on the manual hydraulic control bank underneath the operator's cab. After warming up the engine and properly setting up the unit, the 400X is ready to pull. All four pulling drums are driven by one common hydraulic drive assembly via a chain-driven arrangement. Each pulling drum has a drive coupling crown gear to engage and disengage the drum. All lines and ropes and conductor must be tied off before engaging or disengaging drums. Fully release the payout brake and ensure all lines are tied off and secured before releasing the brakes. At the system control screen, select the targeted drum. Press down to initiate selection of the targeted drum. The yellow highlight ring illuminated around the selected drum will turn blue. The engage and disengage buttons will become activated. To select the highlighted drum, press the engage soft key. Once the drum is engaged, the drum icon above that drum indicator will be illuminated in yellow. Only one drum may be engaged at a time. When a drum is selected, the associated level wind is activated. Level winds are controlled by the thumb rocker switch on the top of the joystick or the level wind switches in the cab on the door. Place the pulling rope through the level wind head and secure all rollers and retaining pins. Using the joystick lateral rocker switch, adjust the left to right starting position of the level wind. Position the level wind centered over the exit rope in line with the pull as it enters the reel. Begin pulling operations by depressing the joystick trigger. Pull gently back on the joystick, bringing it out of neutral, pausing for the brake to release. Once the brake is released, release the joystick trigger then continue to pull backward on the joystick until the desired drum speed is reached. The joystick can be released. Line tension is indicated on the system control panel under winch pressure and line tension. Tension may be adjusted with a line tension control knob on the door. Manage the lay of the pulling line using the level wind. The level wind requires constant operator input. The operator controls the lateral side-to-side -side movement of the level wind and the turnaround using the top joystick lateral rocker switch or the lateral controls, level wind controls located on the door. The level wind lateral rocker switch is proportional. The harder it is pressed, the faster the level wind will move. Adjust the tension as necessary. Engine throttle control is managed automatically by the control system depending on the power demand. The default for the system is 2200 RPM when the joystick trigger is depressed. The RPM on the engine can also be increased or decreased from the system control panel depending on the demands of the pull. To, ad to adjust the engine RPM, use the throttle control buttons located on the control panel. In the event of an emergency, the emergency stop button can be used to stop all operations and shut down the machine. Once the pull is completed and the operations have concluded, place the joystick control in the center neutral position with the trigger released and ensure that the hydraulic drum brake is set. This will conclude pulling operations.